Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tom Cat here, and in today's Forza Horizon 2 video, we're going to be talking about Forza Horizon 3, specifically how our garages are going to be structured. Now, I want to get a conversation going in the comments with people about this because there are going to be many different types of players in Forza Horizon 3 and many different types of car collections, many different types of garages. And what I'm what I'm I'm curious to uh, curious to start a conversation about is how these garages are going to be structured right off the bat. What cars are people going to go for? What cars are people going to show interest towards primarily? And that kind of goes that that goes along with like that goes along with so many different things in the car community. It's like are you the kind of person that's going to buy a Jeep or a Miata or a uh, or a Honda Civic or a um, or a Corvette. It, it, it's it's something that to me really defines how people play um, a game like Forza Horizon because in a game like like Forza Horizon, you have so many different options. Especially in Forza Horizon Three, you have so many different options at your disposal. You even have you got a Polaris RZR. I mean, you've got like I said, a billion different options um, that you can use. And I'm just kind of trying to start a open, like I said, open conversation about how uh, we as players are going to actually use those options that are given to us in the game. Now, for me, I'm probably going to try and start my garage off as a um, as a balance, kind of like I'm trying to have a mix between, you know, something rear wheel drive uh, drift related, maybe a couple all wheel drive cars and definitely a truck, definitely a truck or, or also definitely a ute because with the game being set in Australia. Um, and with several Utes being confirmed, there's definitely going to be some of that in my starting garage. Now, we're not including, I'm not in this conversation, I'm not including uh, reward cars because I want this to be something that anybody can, you know, anybody that anybody can participate in. Anybody that, even somebody that's never uh, played a Forza series, uh, like played a game in, in the Forza series, could be like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to focus on getting this, this, and this when I start out in the game. So... Even though that, yes, sure, you will be given a few supercars um, and a few sports cars right off the bat from the rewards, I'm not really counting those as initial garage additions. I'm more focusing on what the initial purchases will be uh, when someone first starts out in the game. Can we do this? Yes! Oh, I was so hoping we would make that gap. That, that was awesome. It's so much fun when you make a gap like that. Get it? Yes! Believe it or not, this C7Z06 is completely, well, completely in a pile of Vespas now, but no, uh, completely stock. It's just completely stock, all of, it's just got assists off. Um, so if you're wondering, if you're wondering if there are cars in Horizon 2 that you could just learn how to drift with right off the bat that don't need mods, oh uh, yeah, hell yeah, there are. This being one of them. I mean, hell, this has so much power that you could pretty much, like, you can tandem with people in stock form with this car. You really can. And then when you upgrade it, it just becomes, like, a mentalist machine. It's just, like, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's stupid, but I would say that it's, like, well, I guess you could say this. It's stupid in the best way possible. But anyway, back to Forza Horizon 3. The main thing that I'm curious about is... Number one, how the garages will be structured, because I want to have, I want to have a nice mixture, like I said, a nice mixture of some off-road stuff, and, um, and then, but on the other side of that, some, um, some wide-body stuff, some stuff that's really, 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 like, got kind of, like, that cool factor to it. I know I'm definitely, definitely gonna have one of those wide-body M4s, a rock, like, oh my god, a Liberty Walk M4, oh my god, just thinking about that car is, like, it just insane guys like I can't even really project across to you guys how excited I am to see wide body in the game I mean even you know there's one kit that I'm, I'm I really hope that they might someday add into the game and that's the uh, the rocket bunny v3 kit for the FRS and BRZ that was just released if you haven't seen it go look up rocket bunny v3 FRS um, stay crushing has already put one on his car um, and it was re revealed at 86 fest the kit is super crazy. It's like, it's got a million different things going on, and I can see how if you don't like really busy body kits, then you might not like it in comparison to, like, say, the V1 or the V2. 
I think the V1 is still all around my favorite because the V1 is just so clean. It's just got like that, those perfect body lines and then a V1 kit with a V2 bumper is like, that's like the top for me. A V1, V1 Rocket Bunny FRS with a V2 Rocket Bunny bumper, like you really cannot go wrong with that. It just looks so damn good to me. But anyways, I'm now focusing on, um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, now focusing on not dying. Uh, but yeah, now focusing back on Forza Horizon 3, let me know in the comments section what cars you guys are really going to be interested in adding to your garage from the get-go. And not necessarily like a certain car or a certain truck, but like a certain type of cars. Like you say, I want, you know, maybe something for grip and something for drift, but not necessarily going to mess with off-road right off the bat. Or I'm going to go all off-road and handle the on-road stuff later. Or I'm going to have, like, maybe one car or two cars that I alternate setups between. So that's kind of a different different way to approach it, too. Like, you might be somebody that doesn't really like to have a ton of cars in their garage, but likes to have a lot of different setups for maybe one or two cars. And I get that mentality completely because some people are like that. I've known some people that are like that, and that's how they play Forza. So it just depends on, like I said, how you prefer to play the game. And I'm actually really grateful that... Um, that Turn 10 and Playground have made a game that really allows people to do that, really allows, like, for the accommodation of different play styles, because you don't really get that in a racing game very much. I mean, sure, you get it in shooters with, like, perks and stuff like that, but in a racing game, you generally don't get a huge variety of ways to play the game. It's just, like, you gotta be, you gotta get good at racing in this type of racing and this type of racing, and that's about it. But no, in Horizon 3, you've got so many different options, so many different ways to play the game that you can literally just figure out what you want to do, and you can do it. You can literally, like, you can set the game up how you want to set it up. So that's, I think, the biggest, the biggest advantage of how Horizon 3 is set up. And not tree. Good. No tree on that one. I'm okay with that. Roundabout funs, funsies, sidewaysness. I love roundabouts. Roundabouts and high horsepower rear wheel drive cars are like the best combination ever. I don't know which way we're going, like which way we left. Actually, I think this is the way we came, so I'm gonna spin around and not go that way. And you know what? I'm just, well, I was thinking about jumping it, but I'm going to just drift this way and then come back around the other side and do it the stylish way instead of the, uh, the, the, I like to smash through every living thing in my way, way. <laughs> but let me know, like I said, let me know in the comment section below what your best starting garage, um, at least the best, like in your mind, your best starting garage for your Horizon 3 career um, would be, and we'll get, like, a, I feel like we're gonna get a really cool different set of opinions based on what people want, and who knows, maybe Turn 10 will see this video and go, oh, maybe we need more of this, maybe we need more of that, maybe we need less of this or, or less of that, and that's kind of like my whole objective with doing these videos like this is to kind of get the community's word out there and use my channel as a way for the community to kind of get noticed a little bit more. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to let me know in the comment section what your initial starting garage is going to be in Horizon 3. And like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more vi daily videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.